Kristen here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little little stingray keychain. Oh my gosh, I love him. He came out so good. Honestly, this was the first time I've ever crocheted a stingray and designed a stingray. Um, it came out so super good. Honestly, this is... I can't believe it. It came out so super cute. Like, look at that. Look at the face. Look at the mouth. Look at the tail. Just look at the details on the body. Like, look at that. He is just super, super cute. I love him. So, if you are excited to make this, just as I was excited to make it, um, let's get started with the materials, shall we? <laughs> okay, so to make this cute little stingray, um, this is the yarn that I'll be using. So, I'll be using this Charity Double Knit Pull Skein Weight Yarn. Um, it is Royal Blue. And it is 100% acrylic um, and it is 100 grams, it is approximately 233 meters or 256 yards and it recommends a 4 millimeter crochet hook. So I'll be using this color um, royal blue. Um, yeah, so this will be for the body of the, um, uh, this will be for the body of the stingray. Um, yeah, and then we'll also be needing some white. This is the same brand, same weight everything it's just white and um, yeah we'll use this for like the underbelly and um, maybe for some lines or some dots on the the body of the, the stingray um, so yeah and then you'll also be needing a little bit of black just to do some embroidery um, for the mouth or for the eyebrows um, so yeah I'll just be needing a little bit of some black and then with that um, I'll be using a two millimeter crazy hook. This is just to get my stitches nice and tight and small. Um, so yeah, I'll be using a two millimeter crazy hook. And with that, you'll be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, and um, you'll also be needing some jewelry pliers as well as a keychain and jump ring. So as I said, you'll also be needing a jump ring and a keychain and with that you'll also be needing some jewelry pliers and um, you'll also be needing some pillow stuffing to stuff the stingray and i'm just using a blunt pair of scissors just to push in that stuffing um, and then i also have some safety eyes here these are five millimeter safety eyes um, as well as their backs so those are all the materials that we'll be using for today um, so let's get started Okay, yeah, so to get started, you just want to grab your white yarn. So we'll be working on the underbelly of the stingray first. So what you want to do is you want to create. Okay, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to create your slip knot. So in order to do that, you're going to take your your working yarn and you're going to wrap it around your two fingers once, twice, and then the second time you're going to cross over to form a slip knot. Okay, yeah, so you're going to cross over to form an X. Then you're going to insert your hook underneath that first loop, pick up your second loop, and then take your magic, your slip knot off of your fingers and pull that tight. Okay, so that is now your slip knot completed. And now what we're going to do is we are now going to chain 16. So to chain, you're going to yarn over and pull that, pull that yarn through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so now once we have our sixteen chains, this is what it should be looking like now. Let me just zoom in a bit here. Okay, so now we're going to work into the back bumps of these chains. So you're going to turn your work over. To reveal those back bumps over there and then into the second chain from hook we are just going to place one single crochet into there and then you're just going to place one single crochet into each chain across and your stitch count should be should um the stitch count should be 15 stitches by the end of this first round or well, the first row i should say <laughs>
So now after completing the first round or the first row of doing one single crochet in each chain across, you should have a total of 15 stitches as I've mentioned. We're now going to turn our work and then we're just going to place one single crochet into each, um, into each stitch across and your stitch count should remain the same as 15 stitches. So now after row 2 is completed, you should have a total of 15 stitches. Now we're going to turn. We're now going to do a decrease. So we're going to do an invisible decrease. So to do an invisible decrease, you're going to insert your into the first stitch, but you're going to insert underneath that front loop only of that stitch. Then you're going to twist your hook down and pick up the front loop of that next stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two front loops. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet. And then you're just going to do one single crochet into each, sorry, you're going to do one single crochet into the next 11 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then you are going to decrease the last two stitches together so again you're going to go into the front loop of that next stitch okay so you're going to go into the front loop of that next stitch and then twist your down and go into the front loop of that next stitch you're going to yarn over and pull through those two front loops and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet and your stitch count by the end of that round should have gone down from 15 down to 13 stitches by the end of that row then you're going to turn your work and then for round for round four you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across and your stitch count should remain the same as 13 stitches So again by the end of the fourth round you should have a total of 13 stitches then we're going to turn our work and then for round five we're going to do a decrease so you're going to find that front loop of that first stitch and then you're going to find the front loop of that next stitch and then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two front loops and then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet and then you're going to place one single crochet into the next nine stitches. Okay. And then again, you're going to decrease the last two stitches together. So again, you're going to find the front loop of that next stitch and then twist your hook down, pick up the front loop of that last stitch, and then yarn over and pull through those two front loops and then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet okay and then by the end of the fifth round your stitch count should have gone down from 13 down to 11. then you're going to turn your work and then you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across and your stitch count should remain the same as 11 stitches So by the end of round five, again, you should have, sorry, by the end of round six, you should have a total of 11 stitches. And then we're going to turn, and then for round seven, we are going to decrease again. So you're going to find your first front loop, go into there, and then go into your next front loop, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet. And then you're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and then we're going to decrease the last two stitches together. So again, you're going to find that front loop of that next stitch, and then you're going to find the front loop of that last stitch, and then yarn over and pull through those two front loops, and then yarn over, pull through two to finish off your single crochet. Yeah, so by the end of round seven, you should have a total of nine stitches by the end of that row. Then you're going to turn your work, and then for round ten, sorry, for round eight, you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. And you should keep the same stitch count as nine stitches. Okay, and then moving on to round nine, you're going to turn your work. And then again, we're going to decrease the first two stitches together. Okay. And then we're going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then again, we'll do a decrease into the last two stitches. Or we'll do a decrease over the last two stitches. So by the end of round nine, you should have a total of seven stitches. Then you're going to turn your work. And then for round 10, you're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. And you should have a total of seven stitches. So by the end of round 10, you should have a total of 7 stitches. Then we're going to turn our work, and then we're going to do another decrease. And then we're going to place one single crochet into the next 3 stitches. 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going to decrease the last 2 stitches together again. Okay, and your stitch count should have gone down from 7 down to 5 by the end of round 11. Okay, and then moving on to round 12, you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across, and your stitch count should remain the same as five stitches. Okay, so by the end of round 12, you should have a total of five stitches, and then again, we're going to turn our work. And going on to round 13, we are just going to decrease the first two stitches together. And then we'll do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll decrease the last two stitches. And your stitch count should have gone down from... Um, your stitches should have gone down from five down to three by the end of that round. Okay, now moving on to the last round, round 14. We are now going to turn our work... And we are now going to do three, uh, decrease three stitches together. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to do a decrease, but we're going to decrease the last three stitches together. So we should have three stitches left. So you're going to go into the front loop of that first stitch, twist your hook down, and insert your hook into the front loop of that middle stitch, twist your hook down again, and insert your hook into the front loop of that last stitch. And then yarn over and pull through, um, sorry, let me do that again. Okay, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then to finish off your single crochet, you're just going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet. Okay. And now we can end off, so you can grab your watch, sorry, you can grab your scissors, not your watch on. <laughs> you can grab your scissors and you can end off. And yarn over and pull through. And now we're going to work on the head of the stingray. Okay. So now we are going to count over six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And insert your hook into that sixth stitch of the foundation of the foundation of the foundation row. Okay. And then I'm just going to yarn over 
pull my yarn through and I'm just going to do a chain one and then I'm just going to do a single crochet into that same stitch that I joined my yarn and then I'm just going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches of the foundation of the foundation row or the foundation chain so that's one two three and four so in total you should have five stitches okay so it's one two three four and five and you should have five stitches on either side of um, where we worked now or what we worked then you're going to turn and then for the next two rows you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across and your stitch count should remain the same as five stitches so you're going to have a total of three rows for this head portion of the stingray. Okay. So now once you're finished with that, you can now end off. Yeah. So you can grab your scissors after you've completed the three rows of the head there. So you can grab your scissors and you can snip your yarn. And then pull up and through yeah so that's the underbelly of the stingray completed isn't that so cool okay so now you can go off and um now you can go off and you can crochet the top of the stingray um with the royal blue but do not end off after you finish with the head do not end off leave your yarn attached okay but follow the same instructions um, from row one of the body or the base of the stingray, if it makes any sense. Um, from row one here all the way down to row 14, you're going to follow the same steps as well as for the head. Okay, but in blue, in the royal blue, um, you're going to continue with this. You're going to repeat the same steps for, for the royal blue to do the top of the stingray, but do not end off. Keep your yarn attached. Okay. So I'll come back and I'll show you um, what to do from there. Okay, so now I am back and I have completed um, the blue side, as I said. So I just showed you how to do the white. And now I just completed the blue side. And as you can see, I have left my yarn attached here. I have not ended off. Okay, so what you want to do from here is you want to grab your... Um, the underside of the the stingray oh wait i forgot an essential part so we need to put in our safety eyes so you want to get grab your safety eyes and you just want to insert them into the middle um in the second stitch in the middle row from the right and then you just want to insert your safety eye into the second stitch on your left so you should have um you should have a stitch in the middle Sorry, you should actually have two stitches in the middle there because um, it's one on that side, one on that side, and then two in the middle because we had five. Okay, so that's what our little um, stingray looks like with his eyes on. And then you're just going to put the backs on. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there, right there. It's right in front of my eyes. Our eyes are attached. Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to chain one after you've secured your safety eyes. You just want to chain one and then you just want to grab um you just want to grab the the white part of it, the underside, and then you just want to crochet around. So just go into the side of the stitch here or the side of the row here. And then just crochet these two pieces together. Okay, you can hide your tail ends inside. Or you can work over them out of the way is fine. Okay, 
Yeah, if you want, you can maybe um, trim down the backs of the safety R's. If you want to, let's see if our pliers can do this. <laughs> yeah, so I've just got my pliers here. Not my, yeah, my jewelry pliers. And I'm just kind of breaking the tip off there. So that it's a little bit shorter. Okay, I think that will work. Okay, so again, I'm just going to crochet all the way around. Um... All the way around our stingray here. Just evenly placing one single crochet into each stitch around. Yeah. Yeah, so you just want to continue crocheting around your stingray until you get to this peak over here, until you get there. Okay, yeah, so you can just carry on. And you can place maybe two single crochets into the corner stitch. And then just continue crocheting up the side of your stingray. Try and do it as neatly as you can. Yeah, so once you get to the peak here, so you just want to make sure that you work into the top of um, of the stitch here. Okay, and now we're going to work on the tail. So now for the tail, I think we are just going to chain 11 chains. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to turn our chains over and we're just going to place one single crochet into each chain across and you should have a total of 10 single crochets by the end of this. So then again, once you get back to the beginning, um, so you just want to maybe tuck in those tail ends into the stingray. And then again, you just want to continue crocheting around the stingray. So now you just want to stuff your stingray. Um, so you just want to leave like a little bit of an opening there and you just want to grab your stuffing, your pillow stuffing and your blunt pair of scissors and you just want to start stuffing. Um, you just want to start stuffing your stingray. Oops. Okay, you want to make 
make sure you get into those corners. Okay, we can always stuff again just now. Yeah, and then I'm just going to crochet a little bit more, um, maybe until I get to this corner here, and then I will start stuffing again. Okay, so again, you just want to continue crocheting around. Yeah, so now, um, once you've kind of made it back to like the top here, you can maybe stuff a little bit more. And you want to make sure you get into those corners. And then we're just going to finish crocheting this closed. So again, I'm just going to do like two or three stitches into the corner. And then just continue crocheting this closed. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can slip stitch to the beginning stitch. You can slip stitch to that beginning stitch. Okay, and then you can end off so you can grab your scissors, snip your tail end, and then we can just weave this tail end in. Yeah, so you could have done definitely a better job than what I did when I first started crocheting these two pieces together. Um, but yeah, I still think it looks cool. I um, also think it looks great. Um, doesn't our little guy just look cute? <laughs> okay, so we're just going to weave in this tail end. So you just want to grab your tapestry needle, thread up your darning needle. Oh gosh. No, I split my yarn. I didn't even notice how I split my yarn until. Oh gosh. Okay, my bad. Yeah, so you just want to thread your needle back into where you came from and then I'm just going to insert my needle into the stingray and then I'm going to come out maybe on the bottom somewhere here and then I'm just going to weave this in. Yeah, so I'm just going to insert my needle to the same stitch you came out of and come out somewhere else. And then insert my needle into the same stitch it came out of and out somewhere else. This is just the way that I like to secure my tail ends when it comes to like amigurumi stuff. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can just snip this short. It actually kind of looks like a tree from the side. <laughs> uh, okay. See some of my stuff in his poking out here. Okay, so that is our little guy done. Um, so now what we're going to do is, um, I think we're going to embroider some white, little white lines on here. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of white and um, 
cut a little piece of white and then we're just gonna embroider um, we're just gonna embroider some little white lines so I'm just gonna insert my needle in somewhere here I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail and then just start sewing little lines around the stingray Yeah, so I'm making these lines, um, I'm making these lines like one row, one row or one stitch big, and I'm just going to just go all over the stingray here, going in all directions. Trying to see what's the best place to go here. <laughs> there. I think this that line actually did two stitches there, I think. It does look a little bit long, doesn't it? So you can do as many as little dots or lines you want. This is just to add some character to our little stingray. Of course this is optional, you don't have to do this. Okay, I think I'm actually going to go down here and do one, one or two little lines over here. If you're happy with that, I think I'm actually going to do one more over here somewhere. It looks like there's a little place missing here. So I'm just going to go over there, I think. Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. I'm happy with that now. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my tail end to this side. I'm going to bring my tail end to where my first tail end is. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. Yeah, so I'm just going to tie this in a knot and then just snip my tail end short and then I'm just going to grab my crochet hook and then I'm just going to pull this into the work. Okay, there we go. Another last little detail that we need to do is we just need to grab a little bit of some black yarn and we are just going to embroider um, some the eyes and a little mouth on there with a little smile so you can grab a piece of black yarn thread up your darning needle okay and then I'm just gonna come out through the bottom here and then I'm just gonna come out uh, on the second row of the white or the middle row of the white of the head if that makes any sense and then we're going to go down i'm going to go across two stitches i'm going to go across two stitches and then come out okay so i'm going to go across two stitches and then i'm going to come out um one stitch across from that if that makes any sense on the middle of those two stitches so it looks like that and then i'm just gonna thread my needle underneath that loop that i just made and then pull that down and then stitch um and then insert my needle back into that same stitch there and then we can come up to the top here 
And then you just want to pull the start. Uh, you might want to correct this if you want. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so once you have your little smile on the back, you can come up to the top here, and then we can just um, give our stingray some little eyebrows. Okay, so I think I'm just going to come out a little bit more closer, maybe over here, I think there, and then I'm just going to do, actually no, I think I'm going to come out over there, so it looks like that, or should it be over here? <laughs> I'm trying to decide like the best placement for these for these eyebrows. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna come up to that next stitch here. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna come out there, just like what's that, three rows from the eyes, and I'm gonna come down diagonally um to two rows across or two rows down, and then I'm gonna do the same for this other side. So I'm gonna come out over here. And then I'm going to come up diagonally, so like that. And then I'm going to come out back where my previous tail end is. Yeah, I think there's our little eyebrows done. Okay, yeah, so there, there's our little eyebrows done and there's our little mouth on the back. Isn't he just cute? Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Um, obviously the eyebrows... And all of that is optional. You obviously don't have to do this. Um, yeah, you can if you want to do the eyebrows and the mouth. Or even the lines. It's completely optional. Um, so yeah, that is the eyebrows. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, tie my tail ends in a knot here. And then again, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to tuck these into into the crochet work so I'm just gonna snip my tail ends a little bit short and then I'm just gonna get my crochet hook and I'm just gonna pull these tail ends to the inside of the work a little stingray guys isn't he just so cute oh, look at him i think he's so cute okay now the last thing that we need to do is just add our keychain and jump ring so you can grab your keychain and jump ring okay and then you can just um maybe insert the jump ring into like the center of the little stingray and then add your keychain on and I like to just pinch the keychain closed like that. And there you go. There's this cute little stingray. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. I am I I love this so much. Honestly, I am literally I love this so much. I am I literally did this like on camera. Um I was actually like recording as I went and I am so stoked with how this turned out. I think it came out so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little stingray. Isn't he just so cute? He literally came out so super adorable. I am literally obsessed with how cute this looks. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so happy. I think I could have done this, this side a little bit neater. But other than that, I really, really love the way he looks. I really, really do. He came out so cute. So freaking cute, I think. Like, look at that. Look at that little stingray. Isn't he just so cute? Come on, stingray. Face the right way. There you go. Look at his cute little face. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. 
cute. I love them so much. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked. This is the first time I've ever made a stingray. And I love him so, so, so much. So, so, so much. He, I think he's my favourite. I think he's a favourite. He's. I think this is the most favourite thing that I've made this this year so far. He is so super cute. Look, look at that. Do -do 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 -do. It's a stingray. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So that is it for today's tutorial, guys. I really hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little stingray keychain. Um, I think it came out absolutely cute and amazing, in my honest opinion. Um, he is super adorable. I love him so much. I love him. I love how he came out. Um, but anyway, that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little stingray keychain. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting. Bye, guys.